Hey, Jace. What? What do you want for your birthday, dude? New bike. New bike? Really? You sure? Yeah. All right, buddy. You got it. All right, so Jace wants a new bike for his birthday, so I promised him last year that I would get him a good bike once he learned how to master the brakes on Layla's old bike. And basically, Jace started off with a really cheap Spider-Man bike from Walmart, had training wheels on it, took the training wheels off in a couple weeks. He had the balance down and uh, he rode that bike for the year, but it was always awkward, too small, and honestly, just a piece of garbage. So after that, I ended up getting Layla a new bike because she outgrew her old bike and I got her a pretty nicer bike. It's still a Walmart bike, but it's a higher quality Walmart bike. And uh, so she's been riding that around and loving it. And Jace was definitely super envious. And then I got a new mountain bike. So he really wanted a new bike and everything. So I was like, listen, man, once you master the brakes and everything on Layla's old bike, I will then get you a new bike uh, for your birthday. So it's that time of year. And he's like, yeah, I want a new bike. So now Jace also was using the pedal car and the skateboard just to, you know, round out his skill set. And uh, it's definitely time to get him a new bike. So I went on to bikes online and so i went on there to see what they had for to offer for children and it turns out they have this relic 24 inch kids mountain bike and what's so cool about it this the wheels are really large and the seat goes really low so jace will be able to fit on it it fits his height requirements and it's got really good components really good wheels has a pretty nice shock on the front I was just super impressed with it, especially with the mechanical front and rear disc brakes, and it should last him several years, and if anything breaks, I'll be able to fix it. You want to find out if Jace likes it? Come with me. But before we do that, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see new videos and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. All right, let's go. Jace, did you look at that box? What is that box? My new bike! <gasps> Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> You can't give me a hug because you're on the thing. You want to put it together? Yes. All right, let's do it. So the Polygon bikes come shipped really well packaged. Comes in a box just like you're seeing here. And when you take it out, it's all like Velcroed together and it has like special foam and, you know, just padding on key components so nothing gets messed up. Cardboard around the fork there. And it's got the protecting the disc there, the foam on there and like I was saying there's just velcro straps here and there that you need to take off to take everything apart really not a big deal it's very easy to put together this will be my third bike putting together from polygon it's very straightforward I just wanted to take a little time to explain to Jace how some of this stuff works so I was just explaining how the uh, you know how the clamp tightens up the seat post and all that type of stuff he was very interested he's really smart when it comes to stuff like that so now I got it up in the bike stand and it's just a matter of getting the handlebars on and the wheel and stuff like that. So Bikes Online gave me this handy little tool that came with the bike. So it has all the Allen keys and stuff like that. So I just wanted to get Jace involved here, learn how to use some tools, take out all those Allen bolts. It worked out pretty good. So before you put the handlebar on, you really do want to add some of this fiber grip grease. And it's just grease that goes in between when you put it on and it just prevents creaking uh, in the future. So it's like a lube, but it has a little bit of texture in it as well to keep it from slipping and, and creaking. So throwing the wheel on there is very straightforward. It's got a quick release um, axle thread there that you put on and just got to make sure you get it in the brake pads okay. And now it's just a matter of getting the pedals on. Like I said, really straightforward. I had Jace do most of the pedal work. He was super excited. So just checking over the brakes, everything's looking good. And uh, now we just gotta throw some air in the tires quick and we will be on the road for some testing. Check this thing out. Just gotta adjust the seat for his height real quick. Not a big deal, just had a, that's what's so cool about this bike, the seat goes really low. Um, so I knew I'd be able, even, even though he's on the shorter side of the bike threshold, he, I knew I'd be able to fit because of how low the seat goes. So this should last him a really long time. You could also upgrade the wheels to 26 inch wheels in the future, which is really another awesome feature that this bike offers. So I'm hoping it'll last a long time. This is called a Schrader valve. My mountain bike has what's called a Presta valve. So there's two things here. This is a Presta valve, the big one is the Schrader valve.
So the Polygon Relic 24 goes for $499 and it's got 24 inch wheels. It's got an AL6 alloy frame, 580 millimeter handlebars. It's got an eight speed drivetrain. It's got a 65 millimeter stem and it's got 120 millimeter mechanical rotors on there. It's also got some Killer V XCV tires. And it's got a Zoom HL suspension fork with 60 millimeters of travel. It actually comes with a kickstand on the back. It has a Shimano Tori TX800 drivetrain. It's a 12 by 32 tooth in the rear there, eight speed. your honest impression of the bike so far? You've had about two minutes of riding. What do you think? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? All right. Looking good. Look at this bike. Killer. Alright, you ready? Go for it. Hit it. Hit it, boy. So as you can see, Jace absolutely loves the bike. He gave it a 10 out of 10 for his initial rating and uh, he really, really does love it. We were hitting the trails as you saw in the video and he's getting really good at it. He's able to balance, he's much easier for him to stop and he can do epic skids now. So he's absolutely loving the bike and I highly recommend it. Putting it together, I can see the quality of the components and everything. The gears work really well, the brakes work awesome. And, you know, at the end of the day, he absolutely loves it, which is what it's all about. That is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys got what you were looking for. And if you're looking for a high quality bike uh, for a really good price, I highly recommend checking out Bikes Online. They don't sponsor me or anything like that. I just really like their product and I've purchased some of their stuff. So I'm not affiliated with them at all, uh, just to let you know. But uh, I do still highly recommend their gear because bang for the buck wise, you just can't beat it in my opinion. So. That's it. I will catch up with you guys next time. Please have a great day and uh, be safe out there, right? Take care.